Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Elias, and welcome back to Regrowth. In the last episode, uh, the last episode. Um, so last time we went to the Outer Lands, which is over there. Uh, it is the Thalmcraft Eldritch Dimension, and we were struggling to get through that. We just weren't strong enough, it seemed like. And well, um, accidentally fell into the void and died and lost a lot of stuff. But, as I was looking, um, we lost, uh, let's see, our pickaxe, our crossbow, uh, and our infernal wand, and I think we also lost the thumbonomicon. Yes. Um, and then some sticks. So, like, actually, no, we didn't even take the sticks. I think I put the sticks back here. I don't know. We didn't lose that much. Um, probably the worst thing we lost is our armor. Um, we still have both, basically all of this stuff, which is really nice. And then we keep uh, our heart can can uh, canisters and green heart canisters and all that kind of fun stuff. So that part at least was fine. Um, we still have all this stuff from when we weren't using it. Um, and yeah, basically we need to replace our pick and our crossbow. So that's what we're going to start off with today. Um, I don't plan on going back there anytime soon. Uh, I still need to make another infernal rod and all that kind of fun stuff. I will do that later. Um, shouldn't be too much of an issue. But, um, for now, we need to start making, I want to make a better sword, and I want to make a pick and a crossbow. So we're going to get a bunch of stuff in here, uh, and then we can turn around while that's doing its thing. We can go ahead and make um, one tool rod and two tool rods, thomic tool rods, uh, and then we're also going to be making um, a wide guard and a tool binding all with uh, thaumium and we are gonna have to make more thaumium but that's that's fine uh, I realize we don't need this one we need this guy now uh, let's see what else are we gonna need we're gonna need our flame string fiery bowstring and put that stuff away uh, and we are going to need to make the pickaxe and all that kind of stuff once the manual and melts down. So we're gonna make a broadsword, um, a pickaxe, and then a crossbow. And we're gonna make a different crossbow. We're gonna see if it does any better. Um, I have no idea. We'll we'll find out very soon. But uh, we should go ahead, be able to go ahead and make our pickaxe, and it's going to be highly modifiable uh, for modifiers. So um, what we'll do is we'll add some stuff to that here in a moment. Uh, let's see. We're gonna want sword blade. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> oh, that was an actual jump. Um, yeah, I really hate the, those. I hate the 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 witches, man. They they just pop out of pop up out of nowhere, and it's really really disturbing. So let's see. Um, we have our manual and sword blade, so we can put that away and that away. And we need the crossbow body, so we'll do that. And then we can go ahead and make the normal Minecraft sword. Um, rather than the uh, rapier, we'll make just a normal broadsword. Uh, and we'll upgrade that guy as well. So this guy can be put away. I have no idea why this does, uh, why this happens. Um, it happens in basically every mod pack I'm using Bibliocraft in anymore. So I don't know. It's some sort of bug. It, it, it is what it is, um, but we need a couple more things. So um, we're gonna try using something different for the crossbow. Uh, we need to get, so one, we're gonna put some redstone on here, and you know what, ugh, I hate you. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and make some blocks of both of these. And I wanna put luck on this pickaxe, I have, Wait, no, I have a manual and pickaxe with luck already. Never mind, we're going to want to put... Um, I used obsidian on that one, I believe. We're going to want to put redstone, we're going to want to put mending moss, and... Uh, we're going to want silk touch, so we're going to want a silky jewel, so we're going to need... Uh, let's just look it up in here. Uh, silky jewel is not that difficult, we just need... One, two, three, four four of those and then an emerald 
and we'll have a nice silk touch pick. Um, we're gonna want some moss. Uh, so, oh, I guess stone bricks. Do we have any stone stone? Yes. And that's actually enough. We're gonna want uh, some quartz. Uh, can we craft like a hundred of that? Yes, we can. Perfect. Um, I want to take like a stack and turn those into blocks. So something like let's do sixteen. So uh, we're gonna put quartz on our sword. We're gonna put silk touch on our uh, pick, and I want to go ahead and make mending moss. Uh, we're gonna need two more, aren't we? It's nineteen. Uh, cause you need to have it's it's nine for each, I believe. One, two, two balls of moss. Uh, that'll be good enough for what we want. So our pick is still here. Uh, we're gonna put. Let's first put the silk touch on it and the mending moss, and then we're gonna put speed upgrades. Just a little bit um, for now. Uh, this guy will get moss and then pretty much nothing but quartz. Uh, so I'll probably upgrade this guy fully later. Um, we'll get to that another time. So the last thing we need is our crossbow. We need to make a new crossbow. And it takes tough binding, not... Ooh, that's, that's a much different thing. Um, tough binding. I think we can go ahead and make that. Uh, with Thaumium. Perfect. So, put all that back, and we have Thaumium, Manulin, and then one last thing, we need a crossbow limb. Uh, now if we look at crossbow limbs, um, I was looking at these, anything that is from Extra Tinker's Construct is set. Um, the only difference between all of them is their durabilities. They all have draw speeds of 2, arrow speeds of 1.2. That's pretty terrible. Um, I was looking through everything else. I considered, let's see, Thaumium's not bad. Um, draw speed's a little bit slow, but the arrow speed's nice and high. Uh, slime is good. Uh, blue slime is good, but getting blue slime is a little bit tricky. Uh, what else did I see? I mean, Cactus is actually pretty good, but the durability is terrible. Um... Normal slime is pretty good. We could do that. Uh, paper is pretty terrible. Uh, cobalt is really fast arrow speed, but pretty bad on the draw speed. Same with Manulin. Uh, and basically, I was just kind of looking through all of these. Wood is actually decently good. Uh, but I think the best is going to be this blood-infused wood. Durability is a little low, but that should be offset by the Manulin. And we can always put reinforced if we need to. Um... But that has such a high arrow speed and a decent draw speed. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. Otherwise, slime? Like, I think actually slime might be better, but I kind of want to see... We can replace the parts, so if I don't like it, we can replace it. Um, so in order to get the blood-infused wood, we are going to need... Can I fly? Yes. <laughs> I didn't know if I put that back on. Uh, we're going to need to get some blood. So we turn that off. We'll start getting witches here in a moment. We can put this away. And we just need our blade. And we need to get like, what was it? It's uses blood altar. So blood, our infused wood is 3,000 blood. So let's go ahead and get this guy as well. And we can already go ahead and make one. It took like next to nothing. And this will make blood infused wood. I guess I don't even need the uh, I don't even need the divination divination sigil. Actually, no. If we have it on us, okay, that's what it requires. So there is blood infused wood. And I'm just gonna stand here and try to get some more. I don't know how much of this we're gonna need uh, because I've never actually used it before. Uh, so, that is, that is a question, um, but otherwise, like, 
they're fighting. They're fighting the edge. All right, there we go. Um, otherwise, we just kind of we're gonna make a little bit of it and see what it takes. But um, the rest of this episode, we're gonna move back to a little bit of mechanism today. I think just because I really don't want to go and die some more. Uh, I also have to make a decision. I don't know if I want to make any more elementium. Um, I don't know if I want elementium armor or if I want to go to terra steel. Um, the difference is, well, to be honest, slight, but it's just, it's one of those things, I'm just not sure what's going to be the best fit for us, um, but we'll find out. We'll, we'll mess around with it and see. Uh, I'll, I'll take a look at kind of what is the best thing to use and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, because I think while Elementium is going to be easier, uh, Terra Steel is actually a little bit better in a sense because it's going to require us, uh, it's going to allow us to do a little bit more customization and, um, be a little bit stronger. I'm not sure on that. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. There might be even better armors. Um, actually, let's go ahead and look at, like, chest plates. Uh, there is, oh, we could go full out. Um, we could make bound armor. Uh, this stuff would be really, really good. Uh, that might be an idea. Uh, we'd basically be indestructible, uh, for the most part. So that might be a thing. Um, anyways, we have... This blood infused wood, I think we're just gonna have not that one. Uh can we do it here? I'm gonna guess since it's like uh wood, we can do it no. Uh did I make all this stuff for nothing? We can't make crossbow limbs out of it? Alright, well, that's fine. Um, I guess what we'll do is go get some slime. And I believe we need slime crystals. Which... Um, how do you make slime crystals? It's like slimy dirt, I think. Slimy mud cooked up. Yeah, we're probably going to need four of those, so... Uh, dirt and sand. Two, three, four. We'll cook these up. Uh, I really need to just basically make another furnace and have it up here, uh, just for convenience. Uh, crushing factory, enriching factory, smelting factory. Uh, because even just a basic furnace, uh, or even a factory furnace would be a lot better, um, for doing that kind of stuff. But we'll just go ahead and make a slime. Uh, let's see, we can put this stuff away. Uh, I accidentally brought over the, uh, divination sigil, so we'll put that back. And then we'll get to crafting. Um, so, pretty much the main, main thing we're going to work on today is trying to get the induction... Uh, what is it? Induction storage. So, slimy crystals. Uh, that is going to be the main goal, if it's not too difficult. Otherwise, we'll find some other stuff to do. Uh, so, that goes in there. We get a slimy crossbow. And then we should be able to make a slime crossbow. So, um, draw speed's a little bit slow, but we can speed that up. And we will. Uh, so, now I'll, I'll work on getting all of our tools and everything maxed out. Um, we have a lot of modifiers. I kind of did that on purpose. Um, I mean, this guy, even though it has silky, auto repair, and haste, we still have one remi modifier remaining. So, we'll add more haste on that. Um, this guy has two modifiers remaining to get a ton more uh, damage. And by the way, I have this stuff on me just because I was going to make some more Thomium, but I'm not going to right now. So,. Uh, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Uh, anyways, let's grab... I don't even know what to have in my inventory anymore. 
Um, you know, I have a wand. Let's go ahead and put this wand in our inventory uh, just to, to fill it out. Uh, so we are going to be making some... I don't need the blood infused wood, but we'll make some induction casings today. So this stuff is um, useful for basically making power. Um, the simplest can store about eight times as much power as an ultimate energy cube, which we have two of down here storing all of our power. Um, these two. And these guys still um, hold basically total uh, 100 million RF. So that is, that is so much. But this thing would hold eight times as much. Um, so that would be what, like, so it's a three by three by four. That would be um, 400 million, which it's insane. Uh, but we need to make, uh, let's see, we need 16 induction casings to the ports and one of each of the others. So we need 16 of these, and that's going to be kind of annoying because we're going to need energy tablets. No, not ender, energy tablets times eight. Um, but we can auto craft that, so it doesn't really matter too much to me. Um, actually, no, we're going to need that times 16, so let's do another 10. Why not? We're going to need more osmium plates and more steel plates, so how are we for steel? Let's go ahead and craft 100 steel and osmium. Let's just grab basically half a stack. Um, we'll come over here and we'll just make half a stack of osmium plates. Uh, so what's this other stuff take? Uh, that takes an elite plus more. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Um, that takes an energy cube, but it requires lithium dust. So we need a chemical crystallizer. Um, we have the lithium. So uh, that's not a problem. We just need the chemical crystallizer, which I don't know that we have. Um, nope, we don't have a chemical crystallizer, so we're going to need that. Uh, and that should not be too... Ugh. Okay, that's a little bit of a nasty uh, craft. How's everything going? Um, still making a bunch of steel. Alright, so, and then what is this? This is just some basic controls and more lithium. Okay, so we're just going to need some lithium. And we have uh, a decent amount. We made this a long time ago. Uh, it's been a while since we've done mechanism. So in these uh, thermal evaporation plants, we were making brine, uh, which then went over into this guy. I have a little bit of storage for it. And we turned the brine into lithium. And we have a bunch of liquid lithium. So... Um, isn't there power over here? There is for the pump, that's it. So, um, what we'll probably end up doing is breaking this guy, and we'll just take him over to where we need him, uh, and, and make, once we have the crystal crystal, the, the chemical crystallizer, the crystal crystallizer, yes, um, once we have that, we will make, uh, the lithium that we need, so... Do we have some steel? We have 21. That's enough to get started. So there is the first stack. We're going to get another stack of osmium plates. Osmium plates are used quite a bit in this. And there's a couple other things. We're going to need to get into... Uh, basically, it's a fusion reactor. That I don't really want to do. Um, these guys, I will need... I will need some more, let's see, we'll need the heavy, the electric pumps, do we have those? Um, pumps, alright, let's get like, four of those, we'll get this guy set up real quick, and then the, oh, uh, what is it called, uh, what is, what are these called, we're gonna need the filters as well, the solar neutron activators, um, so I don't know how many of these we can use. Uh, let's also get some elite energy cables. 
Uh, and then we'll also want, let's see, do we have, we're getting close on the steel. Um, we're also going to want the filter upgrades. Um, just four of these, and we'll see if this will do anything good. Um, we need to do this outside though. So, and I guess we should also grab some uh, mechanical pipes so we can move liquids. Uh, and basically we're just going to uh, make a little bit of a system to start working on getting all of the, the, the lith, no, uh, deuterium, I think, is what this, this stuff does. I don't remember. This stuff makes something for uh, tritium. Uh, so we need tritium, and in order to get tritium, like we can look at uses, uses, no. Um, there is no way to look that up. Um, so you just kind of have to know. We have to make, so we need deuterium to get heavy water, um, and then needs to be, oh, never mind. That's going to be a much... I was going to do that while we wait for things, but that's going to be a lot more work than I really want to do right now. So let's get the rest of the steel. We'll get a stack of steel. This should be pretty much done over here. Um, just craft the last one. And then... There's that. And it will balance out. I wish you would stop. Can I like, can I like set you down, make you stop teleporting everywhere? Um, I think you can dismiss them with like the uh, the the orb, the the crystal ball, but I don't know. Um, anyways, let's see. Are you making anything? Still making just a little bit of steel. So we should be able to make. That requires steel plates. Of course it does. So one is all we can make right now. Uh, we need to craft sixteen of these now. I'm going to kind of, I, I hate to say it this way, but I'm going to kind of cheat. We need the casings for these guys. I'm only going to make 16 of them though. I'm not going to make any more. So once we have a good bit of steel, we can go ahead and do this. So two, three, four, five, six, one. Uh, I guess we didn't make enough energy tablets. We're going to need, let's see, eight more for that plus four, so we're gonna need like 12. And it needs steel plates. Of course it does. Can I just make 10? That's why we didn't make any more. I forgot. Uh, so we should be decently close to getting all that stuff. Um, I hate Thonecraft some days. Uh, Thonecraft always just does so many weird things to you. Um, all right, energy tablets times 12. Can we make that? Yes, we can. Cool. So that'll do its thing. Um, we're going to need... Let's see. Uh, I don't want to make that yet. We're going to want the chemical crystallizer. So what do we need for this? So we need ultimate control circuits. So I don't know how to make those yet. Um, I can get up to the blues. I believe these require two blues plus some other stuff. So that's not too bad. So that's going to take a little bit to make, but uh, it's auto-crafted, so who cares? Um, what we can do is go ahead and go here. And once we get the blue, we can tell the system how to make those. Um, so do we have more steel? We'll probably need more steel. Um, you still making steel? No. So let's go ahead and tell you to make 400 steel. No CPUs are available. Or was that just too much? 300? All right, so we'll have to wait on that. We'll do that here soon. Um. Because how many do we have? These are 4K, so I could make 300 steel. That would not be a problem. Do we have any elites yet? No. Um, oh, it's probably waiting on the golden chipsets. 
Uh, let's see, lasers, can we make more? Lasers require the wrath stuff. I don't really feel like making any, of the, any more of those right now. We probably should at some point. Uh, we have plenty of power, so it's not an issue with that, but we just need to, because all of the, the circuits and stuff take so much power to make, uh, like these guys require how much? Uh, 240,000. Um, that's actually not that bad. And then we're making a bunch of these guys. Um, we might want to make like another row or two. I could put another five there. Uh, that would speed it up a little bit. But also because both of these are running on the same system, um, the same lasers, that's a little bit of a, uh, oh, a, a drain on our resources. You know, let's make more steel plates. Um, and see that is still working all right we should be able to make like the 300 steel or whatever i want to make make 400 no we can't make 400 we can make 300 um because of the number of bytes it requires to use uh we only have 4ks we could expand that later uh we might but i just want to make a bunch of steel um which is going to go pretty quickly uh basically just needs to to smelt a couple of times with the the uh, the coal, so we are waiting on a couple more redstone chipsets for those and redstone chipsets. Okay, so that is all that. Um, let's see this holodrum. We could probably go ahead and make. Uh, let's. Let's look that up real quick. Whole... How do you spell this thing? There's an H. I have no idea what this thing is, but um, we're probably gonna have to fill it up with um, DT fuel. But it's just literally a little bit of gold dust. So let's get some gold. Uh, and I think we're gonna need four. We'll come down here to the crushing factory if it's available. It's enriching, smelting. Okay, it's not available. Um, yeah, I bet there's another part of this quest because that's that's way too good of a reward. And then lasers for the laser amplifier. Yeah, uh, we can't really do too much with that stuff. Um, so one other thing we could potentially work on getting uh, right now is we could try to get the there is another book to get which is the immortal uh the observations of an immortal which requires a nether star that's the only problem with this we'd have to go kill a wither and i don't know that i want to do that because we don't really have the armor set up for that so it's just going to be a matter of waiting for things to finish crafting it looks like we have the energy cells so we should be able to make these so to uh one, two, four, five, and six. So that should be that one taken care of. And now we can make the induction port. That shouldn't be too bad. Oh, hey, we have an elite, um, which means we can get this taken care of. Uh, and that's just a crafting recipe. Um, which we'll put there. We'll put that one there as well just so that it's a little bit spread out. Um, so if we want to make this guy, we're going to need two ultimate control circuits. So let's go ahead and get those crafting. Um, let's take one of those out. So that's going to take a bit, but we should be able to do that. Not a problem. Um, so there's the induction ports. And then we just need the basic stuff for the other ones. So I'm going to throw those guys back in there and what all do we need for this? So we're missing the atomic alloy. That should be easy enough to get. Um, but I'll wait until everything's done. Um, because honestly that that's just kind of a it's going to be an easy enough thing. Uh, we're going to need a couple chests. Uh, no CPUs are available. Why are you using great wood planks? Uh, I really should take... 
Eh, it shouldn't make great wood planks, so I guess that's okay. Um, let's see, we're also going to need this guy. Yeah, we're going to need refined steel. Great. I hate making refined steel. Um, actually, no, refined steel is fine. Do we have any? We might have some down here. Because uh, I like to just kind of put stuff in here and then walk away. And I did. Awesome. So uh, we also have a ton of coal coke blocks. So we're going to replace those. And what we can do... So there's a steel casing. Um, so what we can do with all of this... Let's see, we'll need that. Oh, it's it's a fluid tank. Um, I'll keep that on me because that'll be easy enough to do later. Um, can we make the two chests yet? Hey, we can. And then a control circuit. Uh, just a single one. We can go ahead and tell that to make it. And it should make one at some point relatively soon. Um, we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too slow. Uh, I know it's trying to make a bunch of stuff here. Uh, which, strangely enough, we already have the diamond chipsets. What I need to do is tell it to make just a ton of redstone chipsets. Uh, how are we doing for redstone, by the way? Not very good. Um, let's go ahead and get just a bunch more redstone. That's better. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, basically, as soon as we get the control circuits, uh, this should be straightforward enough to make. Now, let's take steel. We have a stack of steel. And we'll take... Uh, eh, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Uh, I'll make more steel plates because we go through these fast enough that it would be wise to make them. Uh, that'll only make a stack, so it shouldn't be a problem. And, yeah, let's see. There's not really much else that we can work on. Uh, something we could do is go farm mobs. It is night. Let's go test out our sword. Um, we have iron armor, so we should be fine with that. But we have a... Uh, we really... Ow. Uh, we really need to find the last little... Oh, I forgot. Mary Culture. Uh, we need to find one of the treasure maps again because uh, that is the only way really to complete one of the quests. So our sword isn't that bad. Um, it could be better. Uh, definitely using more uh, let's put that on the bar. Uh, definitely using some more quartz would be wise. So we'll just kill these guys. Concussive creeper. These guys are not too scary. Because um, they don't actually do damage, I don't believe. Skeletons can be scary, but... We'll just dodge. Um, I guess we could try out our crossbow as well. I'm literally just killing time to wait for stuff to happen. Okay, a little bit of speed on this would help, but I think damage is there. Um, cool, so let's just work our way back. And hopefully some of the stuff will be done. He didn't even try to explode. Um, but yeah, there are the treasure maps. I'd like to try to find the treasure maps so that we could potentially um, just complete a quest, but I don't know how likely that is. Gonna be zombie dog. Uh, so yeah, um, that was, that was fun. So, I am running out of things to talk about because basically we just have to wait for the, the control circuits and we'll get the induction stuff. Uh, I don't really want to make a cut because it's going to make more work for me later. Uh, I hate editing, so yeah. Uh, I don't want to do that. Can't make me. Uh, so let's get our inventory back sorted. We'll throw that, all that stuff in. 
And we have... Okay, we have all the controls here. So there's that. And then we need the atomic... Uh, one of these guys, which should not be bad. And something I'm going to go ahead and do is tell it to make... A uh, hundred redstone circuit thing. So we should be able to make this now. Once we get the atomic... Uh, guy, which it is currently crafting. Um, there we go. Well, okay, it was crafting the one before it, so it'll take just another second. Um, and we'll get this chemical crystallizer. So there we go, that is that. And we come down here, and we're just gonna... Honestly, we're just gonna hook it up to power. Uh, there's a spot right here. I don't know how much of this we're gonna actually need. So, uh, I do want to... Uh, let's see. Rotate. Missed it. Rotate. Alright, so... Stop that. I don't know... I can never remember which side is which. So is it like that? And then can I teach it gas... Oh, it needs a gas. So, um, what we can do is we can pick this guy up. Uh, let's go ahead and pick both of these guys up. And uh, we need a rotary con condensator. Uh, actually, no. How do we get... Alright, so... Ultimate machine used to crystallize purified slurry into one. Yeah, so in order to get liquid lithium into gaseous lithium, do we have any lithium? Uh, lith let's see. Because the condon. Oh wait, no. This is this is exactly what we need. Never mind. Um. We just need to go grab some power lines, and uh, there are cables, elite energy cables. Uh, now what's the other thing we're going to need? We're going to need a basic storage and four energy tablets. How many energy tablets do we have? We have three. We're going to need one more of these, so let's go ahead and craft that up. Uh, and then this guy requires four basic control circuits, so let's go ahead and get those crafted up as well. And it can't because there's not enough. We're doing too much. Actually, it should be fine now. So, control circuits. We need four of those. Alright, so... Um, I think we're going to need more stuff because I th think we need more of the, the ener energy cubes. And those require more stuff. So, uh, we'll, we'll deal with that when we get there. But, uh, what we can do is we can just pull up this just a little bit. And rotary content condensator, something like that. So, um, toggle operation. Let's, see, let's break this for a second. And we'll do this way. So, if I put you right here, um, and then we rotate you. No? Okay. Let's grab a mechanical pipe as well, because I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Mechanical pipes. Easy enough. And I, I'm I'm just setting up something very quick and dirty just to get this taken care of. Uh, let's take you that way. So basic mechanical pipe. And... Configure fluids. Pull, and this is liquid lithium into lithium, which is just then going into here. So um, that's all we needed to do, and this will make us lithium. So that'll work. Uh, I'm gonna keep it like that for now. Um, when the lithium runs out, we'll just go get more, and. Let's see, we're going to need 
two of the basic energy cubes. Um, so that's not too bad. Uh, I would like to have blank ones, so let's get the energy tablets. We're gonna need one, two, three, four of these. I'm gonna take this guy out as well. And you know what, I'm gonna put him over here just so he's not used. Uh, actually, I don't really care about him. Um, we can always make more. So let's do that, and then we need four lithium. How much do we have? We have five. Awesome. So th those machines are a little slow, but they will get there. And there is that. Oh, and it stored the energy. Awesome. So with that taken care of, um, we just have the one left to make and how the world enhances. So this guy, so we just need the basic induction provider, which we need uh, basic energy cube, uh, which I don't have auto crafted. Uh, let's see, we're gonna need one of these. We're also gonna need another energy tablet. And then a control circuit. Uh, and then we're going to need four more control circuits. So, um, once we have the energy tablet, which we do, there's that. And then control circuits times four. That shouldn't take too long to make um, because we are making redstone uh, things. Like, it's, it, the only thing it's going to require is the base control and getting the enriched iron. Um, so that should not be a problem at all. But that'll, that'll just take a second. Uh, it's probably waiting on getting the, uh, the stuff in to the system, but um, yeah, so now that this guy is empty go ahead and break him. He's going to fill up and is just kind of slow. Um, and what we can do is we can just take this guy back outside and uh, let him fill up more because this system is completely and utterly automated. Um, there's no nothing that it needs other than time. Uh, so we just put it right there and it's probably going to fill up pretty quickly. So that is... That is pretty much it. Um, once we get the control circuits, everything will be good. So we'll get the bees going, and those are just going to take forever to make the uh, the stuff that I need. So do we have the control circuits yet? Can I make this guy? Haha! -ha, I just need the lithium, which I never grabbed. <laughs> Oh well, um, it's literally right here. We have plenty of it. Now, is this used for anything else? Um, we can turn it back into lithium, but it looks like no. So that is that's fine. Um, I'm okay with that little simple system. So there is the basic induction provider, and there is everything. So we're gonna get more induction casings, and that was that quest. Um, pretty much a long quest just to get that, but oh well. Um, it's fine. It worked. It doesn't matter. Uh, if we want to make if we want to make that, we will. But I don't know that we'll need it. To be honest, um, we're not really going through a lot of power. Um, so I think that is going to be it for this episode. Um, I think what we'll do next time is start working on getting some more blood magic stuff done. Specifically, trying to get the bound armor. Uh, now, the bound armor is going to require a bunch of things, um, specifically filled sockets, um, which is just empty sockets filled with a lot of blood. Um, so these guys are made with blood shards. Um, how many of those do we have? And can I make more? We have six. So we're going to need to make more of these. Um, two ways we can do that. We can either go kill enemies with our bound sword, or um, we can do a little bit of trickiness. Oh uh, great, more Thomcraft stuff. I thought... Is this still burning? Yeah, so Warp Ward would just kinda hang on, hang out down here while this is doing its thing. Um, 
So if we need more of these, we can get five more for every one. We can basically get four more for every imbued slate, So, um, which isn't too bad to make. So I'm going to farm up some blood. Um, I was wonder if putting this into a tank wouldn't be a bad idea. And I might do that. I might make just um, a simple setup with... Uh, oh, we'll grab... Not this kind of tank, but a much larger tank. Um, I think the elite tanks are not too bad to make. Uh, are there elite tanks? Let's see, tanks. There's the basic fluids, advance. Um, the ultimate store, 112 buckets. So this might be something I will try to make. Uh, it's going to require, or at least we can get to the elite which is uh, 56 buckets. Um, so I'll probably make a couple of those, a handful of these, and I'll probably tell the system how to make those uh, and set up basically a blood farm. We'll get a bunch of blood and um, next time we'll make some bound armor. So that will help us kind of kill bosses, both uh, the Terra, uh, the Guardian, guy from Batania, as well as dealing with the Outer Lands and dealing with uh, pretty much anything we need to. Um, bound Armor is really good. So that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!